In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at what are called sticker packs. These are basically collections of PIP objects that you can use in your productions. We're going to look specifically at the text sticker pack in this tutorial. We're going to show you the 25 available and kind of group them in a way that makes sense to me. And then we'll show you a little bit about how you can use these sticker packs or PIP objects and modify them to some degree. They're not greatly flexible, but they might be useful in some occasions. The first category I see are those that are web related. We have one that says new post. Another one that says link in bio. Another one says tap here. Then we have one called New Project. Another one might be related to the web called Work in Progress. The next one is Free. Another one called Shop Now. And the next one we have is simply New. I think all of these are related in some way perhaps to a web presence or a sales site. We have another category that I would call affirmation in this collection. These are PIP objects that say, well done. Another one that's awesome. The third one in this category is yay. And the last one I would classify with this is simply called thank you. So those are ones I would put in an affirmation category. The next one we have are what I would call general feedback. One is cool. That could fit in their animation as well. One is nope. The third one, OMG, yes. And the next one is LOL. So it's another kind of general feedback. Then some I couldn't classify, I call miscellaneous. We have one called cheers. Another one, a date with myself. That sounds rather narrow. <laughs> Happy is the next one. The fourth one I put in miscellaneous is simply mood. The next one I see is time. Don't know when I'd, I'd use that one. Then we have one called good night. And then two more in this collection of 25. One, good vibes, say hi. And the last one simply work, work, work. So those are the 25 in this particular collection of PIP objects. Let's look at some of the things that we can do with these PIP objects inside this sticker pack. In order to get to the pack, first of all, I need to click on the toolbar on the left side. I can click on the video overlay or PIP objects room or press the F5 function key. And then I'll see all that I have. We're going to look at the subcategory. If I drag down on the left, or I can use the drop box at the top, I'm going to click on Text Stickers Pack. And here we have some of those that you just saw. Let's take a, a few of them and see what we can do with them. I'm going to take the, uh, let's take the cool, and we'll drag that and drop it on any video track, wherever we want it. And of course, we can resize it by using the handles on any part of it. Let's double click on it to get into the PIP Designer. We can scale it. We can turn off aspect ratio if we want to, to either make it wider or stretch it out height or width. If we undo that, we can ease it in or ease it out. We can change the opacity. We can change the rotation. We actually can keyframe it if we want to. So we can have it rotate in or out. To do that, for example, you move to the rotation value. I'll set a keyframe to start with. And then I'll move over a little bit. And let's add something to the rotation. Let's add a 360. Press Enter. I prefer to type it in. And now we'll see what will happen. It will actually spin on us as it, as it starts. 
So that's one thing that you can do with it. We also can add a border to it. Now in this case, unless you want a double border, it probably wouldn't be too fruitful. We'll show you another option where you, that might be helpful. You can also add a shadow to it by clicking the shadow. And there I've added a dark shadow. I might want to shrink the distance a little bit if it's a letter but I can add a little bit of a shatter, shadow. Notice it also shadows the elements besides the lettering as well, if you use that. You can do reflection. I wouldn't probably do that. A flip will make it so you can't read it. You can do a fade, which might be nice. You can fade it in and fade it out. And you notice what that does is that simply sets some keyframes for opacity. Uh, automatically when you click the fade controls. So those are a few things that you could do with that text. We'll click on OK. Let's look at another one that's more of a solid element. That's awesome. We'll drag and drop that down. And again we don't run it over her face. We can either resize. I'll just reposition over here. And look at a couple things we can do with that. I'll double click again to get into the PIP Designer. And here we easily add, if we go to our settings, we could add a border since it doesn't have one. And we can change the color. I like the fact that it matches what's on the inside. We could do a uniform color or a two or four color gradient on the border. Let's do a red for there. So now we have a varied border. We can change the gradient direction, all kinds of things. We can also, in this case, add a shadow. This, in this case, the shadow would cover everything. And I can even make the shadow any color I like. Make it the color of her shirt. Click on OK. Now I have a shadow, and I can change the distance. I can modify the blur, soften it a bit. And so you can make these small modifications. Again, with PIP objects, you cannot change the content, but you can do some things to make it more customized to fit your particular needs when you use this particular pack in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.